Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and a very happy Monday. It's the next week, and we are back in our franchise zoo. Well, today, with a bit of a, um, well, let's say, cleaning episode, we need to clean up a few things, we need to check some stuff, and then we potentially also do a bit of a lemur habitat. Now, um, you will have seen that from the thumbnail, and hopefully clicked because of that, okay? So, <laughs> I tried to deliver, but uh, I think it's always quite funny, because at the beginning of the episode, I don't know what exactly is about to happen. It's a little bit different than in normal voiceovers um, but yeah so I'm happy you tuned in today again we are going to build a bit more today I'm not using any new blueprints but uh, let me just quickly you know uh, remind you guys of um, sending in some more blueprints you can now do like there's a lot of stuff I said we need more uh, guest facilities like shops and restaurants and stuff and all these kind of stuff we need definitely because um, yeah, you can see down here there's again uh, something you know thirst is a thing um, happiness overall and education is a big thing we're going to take care of education in a minute but first of all let me show you this wonderful restaurant over here by Haribo again um, is uh, in here uh, I'm using that one because it's just freaking incredible I don't even know what he's using over here holy crap are these all single pieces I don't even want to know oh my lord I god let, let, let's just go out no one no one needs to know that okay oh god my game <laughs> It's just like, nope, no, 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 don't do this. Um, but yeah, I needed to slap this down quickly because um, I need some stuff. And you can see over here, we have a major issue uh, with the guest roaming around overall. So I'm going to change a little bit of the dynamic by putting another habitat here. And you can see there's also a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So we're running into some severe issues. I was figuring that maybe we need to make sure that this uh, thing over here is gone. Um, I'm, I'm sorry then for the people, but uh, I feel almost like uh, there is no other way of, of changing this because people are just stopping over here. So instead, I was thinking of making a um, window here, which we are going to do now. Let's say a window. And I think, can I? I could also just try to make like this and then we are just going to close this one off over here as well just to make sure that they don't stand over there and then they keep standing here and hopefully the flow is improved over here you can still see the animals and then we're just going to bring over this stuff to here it can just be wait I need this education hello I need this education thing can I just no 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 I need I need the win no 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 I need the TV Give me the TV. Thank you for the TV. All right, and we are going to put this TV just here. Okay, let's put it down. And I'm also willing, like I have no idea if, if, if this is a good idea, but I'm just going to put the education board a bit more over the place um, because I feel like this might help uh, to just have more of these education boards as well. We can just also put them uh, just on here a few times. Not sure again if, if this will help, but... Um, yeah, we are just going to change this a little bit and let's change also the uh, education things because as I will show you now from the overview, uh, the education is not that great overall. So we are going to do a little bit about this. You can see red pandas, basically no education at all in terms of speakers. This is something we are going to, uh, to change right now. We are also going to put another one here. I can have one more and now we're just going to uh, put down all these education speakers where we need them um, so I don't like the overlay too much but we're just going to place one um, I think on the corner here just to make sure that there isn't there's also another one we can use and I'm also willing to put one down in the back here just to make sure that this might be used in a better way the bonobo area is pretty well done and pretty well uh, covered even though the Jaguar one is obviously not we are going to put another one just in the middle down here is this like can we just see it is that on the ground or is it just floating uh, it is somewhat on the ground I'm just gonna bring this uh, a little bit down here I don't mind too much if it's now a little bit sunken into the ground but you know just gonna make sure that they go through and I don't want to annoy the animals too much you know this is the main pain point is always is the if the animals are too much in the radius they are suffering from it uh, because they're hearing it all the time and so we are just going to try to make sure that the animals are not covered in here so you can see this is exactly this area and then I'm willing to move this bulb to the other side so that the center of the radius is a little bit more to the right hand side so we can just increase the radius a tiny bit uh, 
Oh well, I think it's fine. And then we're just going to do... No, that's the... Okay, I think I have to relocate that one then. Just gonna maybe put this somewhere. Yeah, why not here? No, wrong. There we go. People go through it. So that might raise the education level a little bit. The red panda just has matured. So we need to keep an eye on the fact if the red pandas are in breeding or not. Because I don't want them to. Also, we need to sell a lot of them. Because they are social-wise way too many animals in here. I mean, welfare-wise, this is still okay. You could keep some more animals in. That's not the biggest deal at all. But... Um, I think what we're going to do now, we're going to go to animals and then we're going to sell some of them. We also have too many Bengal tigers, as you can see. Um, potentially, I need to... We've got three of them in. That seems to work for whatever reason. Haribo is still there. Helio is uh, still there. Arya is still there. Not sure if I need to change them. We are just waiting for it. We have a lot of bonobos. They kept breeding. Uh, we do have to wait a little bit more for our... Um, Wonderful orangutans, uh, because Rapstar is about to be too old to get any babies. Um, oh, we have got some some more spiders again. So let's bring them already back to the trade center. As I said, it's it's a little bit of, uh, yeah, it's a bit of work now to just bring everything back into bell. Oh, my lord. Okay, talking of which, we need to get rid of uh, all these scorpions again to make sure that they all do good. Oh, my god. Look at, look at the mass. Uh, yeah, we don't need them. Center, trade center. I would love to be able to just go back to the tab where I was, but well, okay. We're just gonna slide down. They are all back in trade center. The jacks do pretty well. Okay, piece are doing kinda is okay as well. Um, even though we might have too many animals in there as well. So we're gonna... Uh, we, we cannot release you to the wild. We can release you to the wild. But we don't want any in... Well, we, we, you know what? We'll release you to the wild. 16! God. What a cheap thing. I thought they were endangered and stuff. But well, well. Okay, so... Oh my... Lo look. Ooh. Holy moly. Macaroni. Okay, this is... Um, this is crazy. So this is new guy. This is efficiency zoo. I think I'm gonna keep... Okay, do we have like a male golden one? Yeah, that one. It's too young, though. But we keep it still. Okay, I think we keep this one. We keep Tuan Chi. And we keep... Uh, Shuki. We also keep Shuki. We keep them like this. I think that should be fine. Uh, can I release them all to the wild? I'm not sure. No, I cannot because... Uh, let's send them to the trade center first. Okay, that should be easier to do. There's nothing going on here. What's going on? Exhibit species. Oh my god. Okay, so we, we whatever we did there, it seemed to be good. Um, all right, let's see if there's anything else in trouble here. Like welfare-wise, we can we can just check. Okay, so the iguana. Okay, so we need to send this to the trade center. There you go. Let's check the welfare again. No, everyone is doing pretty, pretty okay. Good. All right, this has been done. Everything is... Oh my god, it's so bright outside. It's so good weather. Cheetah is about to inbreed. No, 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 no. No, I don't think you are. Um, the, just, I think I, just, I still need to change this, but for now we don't. Do we still have babies in here though? Uh, we don't. Oh, we do. We have, we have one. No, wait, what, what's that? Is Behati a baby? Wait, no, 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 you are not, right? Are you? Where are you though? No, we have not. These are the three we have in. How are you doing, like, social-wise? Um, feeders is not good. But what about your social? Social is all fine. Why is the feeder not... Ah, oh, whatever. We can also improve the food. Like, two alerts. What's the alert? It's injured. Yeah, okay. But, well, why is the vet not having a look? And also, where is your food tray, though? Am I just stupid? Or didn't... I, I think I forgot, right? I think I just forgot. There's already the vet, so I don't need to care for that, but let's say food tray large. Let's put that behind this thing here. There you go. That should be fine. And also let's give them let's give them some good food. This is the cheetah. Ah. We are pretty rich. We, we we can we can do this. Okay. So let's let's keep an eye on education. Has it improved? Not really. Also thirst. Holy crap, why are people like so thirsty in this zoo? 
Like, everyone is super thirsty. Uh, anyways, what we can do quickly is we can put down... Before we go, we can just put down all of these weird things all over the place. Because people seem also to like these things to have a look. Um, so I'm going to put them down in various places. Um, of course, especially in these areas where there is nothing else. Um, so I'm going to put these down and give them a whole bunch of education. As you can see, by the way, I did some changes in the pathing here to improve the overall uh, movement. Oh my lord, look at the litter. Oh god, we have to definitely care for the litter now. Oh, I thought, okay, 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 okay. We, we just throw down some bins now, okay? So let's go down, and I'm gonna throw down, first of all, all the bins, so that they cannot move without seeing a bin whatever it's insane like it's really i put them down so often already like only in these few areas i didn't do it quite yet and it's kind of a disaster that's insane let's just bring that all down just all the stuff all the stuff down here so i don't forget again all these little bins, oh my lord. I don't know if the people are using this path over here right now. I think they don't because there's nothing else to see. But um, as soon as we have a lemur or whatever in there, it should be a ton better. But yeah, for the moment, I'm just going to throw down some more of those bins because reasons, okay? So now we have this. Let's also employ a caretaker because, well, where's the caretaker? Staff, caretaker. One, two, three for whatever so what we also need to do there seems to be we need to create one more work zone quickly before we do some more education work but first of all uh, before i forget this let's go to zoo work zones create a new work zone and that should be this one yes and that's gonna be lemur cafe this is exactly how i'm gonna call it because that's how i know where this is and now the lemur cafe should get some can't i just bring people in i okay unassigned staff okay we we do have some vendors i can i can put in there so can i sort this by staff wait can i no i can't okay so what i need is i definitely need so these are all unemployed but these ones that are not in a work zone yet they will as be assigned to the lemur cafe awesome and what we are going to do we are obviously also employing some more vendors and we also need to upgrade all of them i'm just clicking uh a lot now to make sure that i'm going to uh, upgrade all of these um but first of all go to lemur cafe uh you are also into oops lemur cafe lemur And there you go. So this is done. And now let's go to our people. Um, look at that. This is the caretakers are already quite nicely promoted. But this is definitely not the biggest area we need to get into. Keepers. Keepers are the most important ones. Do we also have like a five star one? He's about to be five star. 2.5 thousand. Oh, it's kind of an okay wage. It's not like super great. But it's it's okay. Uh, mechanics sure they can also be improved one security guard though <laughs> maybe i need to employ a second one soon just training them all can i just i just want to train all <laughs> i need a button to train all i'm just lazy okay because uh, like it's very cool that we need so much stuff in the game like i really like this but um on the other hand I, it's really getting annoying by like clicking all the way Oh, never mind. Okay, vet research is complete. Um, oh my lord, I got a I got a new um, collection card for Steam. Okay, 15 minutes in already. Damn, I need to make a cut and um, pr uh, kind of prepare already the lemur cafe, which I will do. But for the moment, I'm going to fill in all these education boards I put down because otherwise they don't make any 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 sense here. I think is that actually even is there even I don't know, is there like something I need to put down? Does it have to fit to the specific area we are in? I don't I don't think we need, right? We're just going to put down a whole bunch of stuff and then just hope that the the people love it and we're just trying to not make uh every time the same. I think that's the that's the only thing. Is that like traditional medicine? I think this one was new, right? Wait a second. 
Is that one new? I think I haven't seen that one. I think I haven't seen that one. Maybe it's just me being stupid because I haven't seen it yet, but potentially it's new. I don't know. Okay, so let's see what we else have. Nope, there was like, this is... Oh, is that new? Huh, maybe there are some new ones. Because all of these above ones I do know, but I don't know if we, we have these. Okay, let's quickly see how the education overall is. Okay, so there is another one which has no perk or nothing else. Uh, let's go to medicine again. So yeah, education wise, this is all good. Um, I'm not sure like if you need anything else in here, like if that makes sense to have like a sound, like a speaker in there. I think it doesn't really make too much sense because it would potentially only annoy the people. Um, but the gorilla area is kind of nicely covered. The tiger area is super nicely t covered. The red panda is better now. This is all good. I'm wondering like if, if I need to put down any kind of education. What happens if, okay, what happens if I, that's the last thing I do before we make the cut. What happens if I put down education speaker in that area in the middle here? Hello? Let me just, let me just see where I am because I want to. There you go, just put that in here. It almost hides away. And then, okay, we are, okay, it's the Bonobo, the closest here. So why is that like red now? Because there's no animal in the area? Why is that also like negative effect now? Or what is, what's going on? Overlapping, it's not really overlapping, is it? Oh, huh, whatever, I think it's just showing me that it doesn't work, uh, Never mind. I think now the education goes up, but I think it's just like, I don't know. Hmm. So this area is like super bad and not educated at all, are you telling me? Right? Is this like the problem? Because there is nothing else in here. I mean, the problem is like, why would this be like, guest education? I mean, what I could do, obviously, is I could take this speaker down here. I'm gonna put this to this corner on that side here. I cannot even see which height it is, damn it. There we go, just put it down. And yeah, surely it's over overlapping a lot, but... Like, I mean, if they complain about education, I'm gonna give them education. And they are, like, complaining even more now. I don't know, like I'm I'm throwing that now down in the middle here. I'm just gonna decrease the radius. I'm just like, I don't care, you know? Whatever. I mean, it should make people a lot more educated over time, right? Do I need to put down all these education boards in the front? I mean, there's so much education stuff now. Maybe it just takes time now uh, until it gets better. I don't know. It's so weird. I think it's I think it's going up, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Anyhow, guys, we're making a little cut, and after the cut, you will see that I prepared the um, lemur habitat, which is going to be sitting right here. I'm even I'm even considering potentially having both sides for the lemurs, but I'm not entirely sure if I do it um, because my my issue is how to get the keeper from one side to the other without building a bridge, you know. Um, because the keeper, as soon as I say, like, elephant grass as a border, so they can run over, um, the keeper will be able to run there too. And, yeah, maybe just gonna make a bridge with, that the keeper can traverse too. I don't know. Let's, let's see how I solve that in, uh, after the cut. In after the cut? Whatever. After the cut. See you in a bit. And we have a little bit of a time lapse, uh, and here's already a disclaimer. In a few seconds, well, in, in 1 minute and 50 seconds time, we are heading into the second part of today's episode. This is going to be awful. This is going to be absolutely crap. Um, mainly because there have been crashes and stuff like that. Uh, I do apologize already for what is going to happen. I do apologize uh, for me uh, complaining the whole time because I will be pretty mad and pretty much complainy about the whole time because there's so much lag going on and stuff. Um, I figured the problem out. Uh, so at the end of this episode, I will still be wondering what's going on, but I can tell you I figured most of it out. And the next episode will hopefully be a lot more smooth and yeah just as a little disclaimer now have a uh, yeah lovely next 
couple of seconds with the time lapse um, of this wonderful fence design over here. And then it's going to continue with the normal uh, live gameplay, which, as I said, will be a bit um, weird today. But anyways, I hope you guys have fun. I haven't had fun, but uh, hopefully this is making up for uh, you having more fun because you have fun watching me being very annoyed. <laughs> Never mind. You will see what I mean in a bit. Enjoy, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and also the music should be back. There you go, music is back. Um, yeah, you did see that I did some preparation here and I waited to just let the sun, uh, sun, let the sun come in. Uh, there you go. And I stopped at this very point. Um, I left in the um, time lapse because people were asking for it. So I made a little bit of a time lapse thing uh, here. Um, but you guys hopefully have seen. And before we continue, I just wanted to make sure that we uh, cover up this building here as well. Let me just first of all do this on that side and we're gonna have like the metal planks going on here we're gonna you know use also some bamboo and stuff here and there but for the moment i feel like the metal could be a welcome uh, change of things because mostly we only have the other stuff so let me just uh, put the metal in and then we're gonna see how we figure out this later but to not have too much of a negative effect to our guest we should definitely put this quickly down and I'll also slap some scenery around later on because that makes things easier. Uh, but first of all, let's just put a roof on top, a roofy roof. Can we just also have like the metal plank? Why not? Just have like a very bare bone backstage building. Mm. Yeah, I guess with some wooden pillars and stuff, it'll look good enough uh, to stay here. Um, let's see, this is too much of a slope. This is uh, too crazy, there you go. It's a bit of a less tilted one, there you go. Just copy that around to the other side. Let's do it here and then I think just like one, two and three, that fits perfectly fine. Just around the corner, there you go. And then, hmm, yeah, let's just also use the metal plank roof in the center, why not? It's not too lazy to use something else this time. Um, and then we're just going to put some trees around that should be doing the job Yeah, it kind of looks good enough for me if we put some stuff around and also have this canopy here That is nice now. You've seen me doing the habitat, right? Okay, now what is very important is that the animals cannot escape while in there, okay? So you can see this is the outline of the habitat, which we are going to use in a second uh, to do what we need to do and this is basically putting down um, some Elephant grass. I'm going to show you exactly how this works uh, because I still believe that people don't exactly know what the trick is and I, I see the comments coming and so I'm like, okay, let's let's do it now. Okay, so the elephant grass has a very fortunate thing, which unfortunately sometimes is very unfortunate, but in some cases it is very fortunate. And the thing is that the hitbox of those things is just incredible. Like the hitbox is like super big and everything around here is not able to um, traverse that area. So what we are doing, we're just drawing a line with these things along, okay, along the lines of the habitat. Now, let me just quickly do it. Oops, there is a little bit of a lag spike here. Not quite sure what that is. There you go. So here we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, what the hell is going on here? I think it is because of a Harry Bo's building. It's, it's just too many pieces in one area. I remember that the game does it. So I'm like trying to step away from it as much as I can. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna make this uh, into one building. Oh God, it's super laggy right now. I really hope that this is uh, going to improve soon. Oh my Lord, this is not good at all. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the other side, just hoping that this is not happening anymore. Um, so I'm not willing to have this whole area traversable. I want the keeper to go only through here and the animals too. So I'm just going to close that off right here. So this should be it. And then maybe this is even too close already. I'm just going to 
drag that a little bit further. We're going to have to test this in a second. Um, and then the same. Yeah, basically the keeper just needs to enter at one area. So we're going to do it that over here like this and this. And then um, there is still some traversable area left open for them, which we don't want. This is here, here. Ah, okay, so as, as yeah. The closer I am to this build, I uh, the, the worse it gets. So, ooh, come on, don't do this. Please don't do this. I really hope that it still catches my commentary because sometimes the commentary is, is broken then. I really don't hope that it does it. All right, uh, we definitely should step away way, way, way from, from this build. Uh, the, yeah. The building there is not good, not good for the performance. Okay, now as we put this all down, um, we can just go out of the building and now you can see that I have all these little things over here. And the reason why I make this one building is to be able to quickly access it if I need to change stuff around here. Now what we do, I have the next big leg spike, oh God, I don't know if it's only because of the building. I hope it is because otherwise this would be pretty, pretty bad. Now, yeah, we drag it all the, all the way down, awesome. Hit OK. I'm really hoping that my, if my voice is cut out here, this would be very annoying because then you guys have a lot of weird cuts in there. But um, yeah, so this is this is the last thing I didn't catch. Okay, so here we go. I think this could be enough already. Now what we will do next is we will already bring in the animals. Uh, just two animals as a test first and then we're gonna get some more animals. Um, we're gonna make like a, I think we start with the red rough lemurs. I think this is the good idea and maybe Maybe we put them together, but since these these guys are a little bit bigger, I think I want to go for them. Um, let's see, what do we have in here? So uh, values are not too not that that one is good. So let's let's one one good guy here, and let's go for a good female. Three hundred. Holy moly, macaroni! What about this one? Okay, price wise, that one makes a lot more sense. Okay. Boom, 11.2 years. Maybe we can, yeah, okay, maybe we're gonna get one more younger one. This should be fine. Bonnie, Bonnie is fine. Come on, Bonnie. Bonnie is in here. Bonnie and Clyde. So let's go next. Oh, this is so slow. I hate slow games. Did I say that? Normally this game is quite responsive, but in franchise, it's, oh, it's always like a bit of a pity. Um, there you go. I'm gonna start with the... I think it was, yeah, size-wise, this one is great. Gonna bring this in. So Tsiki, Tsiki is good. Tsiki, I want to move Tsiki in here. All right, now let's unpause the game and see what happens. Um, while we do so, we can already put down some stuff into the habitat to see if uh, a keeper can potentially reach this area. So we're going to put down the forage pool just in the back here so whether people move around actually what i could do here is i could actually move this oh my god this is not doable if that's all because of the restaurant i cannot build in this area anymore if this is like i can i just move my screen a little bit away so that it kind of works i don't know yeah it kind of well, whatever no it doesn't <laughs> jesus I really hope it. Uh, I really hope it's not the issue. Okay, let's wait now. So if this all works over here, what I'm doing, um, it must be that animal stress. Okay, now that it's not good, but it's not like our problem at this point in time. So this is a one where the keeper needs to go, and at the moment it seems like the keeper can can go there, which is great. Now, as we don't have a keeper accessed to this habitat, we're gonna quickly do this. There you go. Just throw this keeper down, and oh my. Seriously? What is this? Like, this cannot be only because of the restaurant. What the f I, I cannot play like this. It's not doable. It's just not doable. Okay, it, it definitely is that the game is totally, <laughs> for me, it's totally broken. Oh, what is that? Can you please come back game to me? That would be awesome. Is it now because of the calculating? I don't know what that is. Okay, I hope the game is back. I hope you guys still had my my voice. Okay, it's running towards a certain area because I think it will be able to jump out, right? Oh my lord. 
Okay. Is this thing... Um... I broke the game. That's awesome. I completely broke the game. Mm. All right, so we are back here after a big cut. Well, in fact, it wasn't a cut. I did build this everything together with you but then the game decided to crash my whole computer and everything was gone, everything was fried, so to say. And like, I'm, I'm going to end this episode rather soon. Um, I have no idea where exactly I was and what exactly I did. I think I had some lag issues. I think this is still saved. And then afterwards, I don't know which recording was saved or not because I had major issues here. And this is also why I'm going to end this episode now uh, to make sure that this goes out today and I can resolve all my issues because from, from now one second to the other, and I think it all started with the restaurant, uh, my computer seems to have a severe issue with Planet Zoo, and I'm talking of a severe issue. It kind of fried my computer two times now, and whatever I do, um, the CPU temps um, are fine, but the CPU and the GPU go to a full 100% heavy load. I cannot do anything, and RAM goes also all the way to 100%, and I cannot do anything. It just kind of blows up, and I think it is definitely because of the restaurant, because that's the only level... Um, where I have it. The other safe are all, all fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is problematic. All temps are good and stuff. But in this level especially, uh, there is no chance. And problem is, I cannot even touch them. As soon as I touch them, my computer dies. It's like insane. So I will try to somehow resolve that by... I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe deleting these files or not. But if I cannot resolve it, we definitely will lose this overall file at least... A little bit because I have a save of this um, which I can hopefully go back to which I've sent to Frontier a few days ago because I had some other issues which are solved now um, but yeah one bad info though which is a little bit of a pity the animals seem not to what the hell wait what how and why how did you this is not no 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 wait a second how is this oh my god this was I thought this was resolved. Oh my god, it's not. I have no idea why this isn't solved. Okay, too many issues, too many stuff going on in this episode, guys. I will definitely I will definitely change this and hopefully um, get back to you in the next episode with a completely fixed lemur habitat because this is not how you want to have it. And I have no idea why the game changes things in seconds. I really don't know why. Um, because this was fully fine. I, I didn't change a thing and it was all fine. Exactly for this animal, for Tixie. It's not like this is another one with a different size. I don't know what it exactly is. We will figure that out. I hope you still enjoyed today's very messed up episode. Um, but yeah, um, stay with me. Hopefully you had fun. And see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye everyone.